welcome back everyone i hope you are having a great time out there let's now quickly jump on to our another interesting case study session today it is clear that the future of work is going to be people oriented and is going to be digital driven there is absolutely no doubt about it to understand how mbsd bank is transforming hr digitally to support its business and understand the latest trends and best practices in the digital hr space we have with us Farid Basir, Chief People Officer, MBSB Bank, Burhad, who comes with over two decades of commendable work experience and brings a wealth of professional insights to MBSB. Welcome, Farid. It feels lovely to host you today, and I'm really, really excited to hear MBSB's transformational journey. Yeah, good to see you, Nilanjana. Thank you. Quick note to our lovely audience out there: Please do share your key takeaways from the session and share them on social media along with the hashtag #ETFutureForwardSEA. So, without any further ado, I am inviting Fareed on the screen. Over to you, Fareed. Thanks, Nelanjana. Uh, thanks uh, to the team that uh, invite me to this particular session to share about our experience. Now, I will start. by sharing a story a little story about me when i joined the youngest bank in malaysia mbsb bank last year one of the things that i realized was there were many forms on my table that i need to sign and approve hiring forms talent acquisition form external training programs and many others now I remember when I joined Human Resource back in 1994 years ago I'm revealing my age now HR or at that time personnel department we are also called the house of forms we have so many forms for every single things we aware that from time to time the HR function always deal with various operation and this operation include compilation of various information through documents through forms that we need in order to carry out the relevant business uh, transaction with uh, many numbers of workflows that are required to be performed by hr professionals compliant with certain forms can make our processes our procedures and action faster and easier and and more efficient the question that i want to ask burdened by too many forms yeah on my table i ask my team can we digitalize this yet should we digitize or should we digitalize or is this digital transformation we should go back to a bigger question what is digitization what is digitalization and what is digital transformation what's the difference and i would like to share the difference the challenge that we have that we are facing now many people we have begun to conflate the terminology either out of their own ignorance or for their own benefits and this create confusion because suddenly we are talking about different things but calling them the same some have begun labeling digitalization as digital transformation and some people call it uh, digitization but in reality they are referring to digitalization so in this discussion i hope to clarify the terminology first and attempts to bring some baseline for uh, this discussion so let's start with the term digitization so what is digitization Dig- uh, digitization refers to uh, when we create a digital representation of physical objects or attribute for example we scan a paper document and save it as a digital document for example we use pdf in other words digitization is about converti- uh, com- uh, converting something analog or non digital into a digital representation or artifacts and we can use uh, this for many reason and what is uh, digital uh, digit- uh, digitalization yeah? 
Digitalization refers to enabling or improving processes by leveraging on various digital technologies and digitized data. Therefore, digitalization presumes digitization. Digitalization increases productivity and efficiency while reducing costs. And what is what's more imp- uh, what's more important is digitalization improve the current existing business processes but doesn't change or transform them so that is to say it take a process from a human driven events to a series of event to software driven now let's talk about the third one digital transformation and Digital transformation is really about business transformation enabled by digitalization. So uh, there's a difference between digitalization, digitalization and digital transformation. It is important for us to differentiate this. Now, uh, I like to quote uh, George Westerman, which is a very good analogy. When digital transformation is done right, is like a caterpillar turning into a butterfly but when done wrong all you have is a really fast caterpillar so do you want to have a butterfly or you want to have a really fast caterpillar this is digital transformation very good analogy and when we uh, making reference to hr digital transformation it is the process of changing operational HR processes to become automated and data-driven in improving employee experience as well as engagement. In the current challenging world, in a VUCA world where we have seen digitalization has accelerated at workplace, HR professional, all of us, we can't stay behind we should involve the organization as a whole in order for this metamorphosis from caterpillar to butterfly to be successful. At the workplace where we know any better than for virtually anything in our life to be digital, HR digital transformation is not optional. It is mandatory. Yeah. And when we talk about digital HR, we refer to, I always use the term SMAC, SMAC technology, social, mobiles, analytics, yeah, and cloud, SMAC technology. And we know that digital HR meant to improve both employee experience and uh, organizational success by transforming the HR function from paper-based, from reactive, and from time-consuming, yeah? three challenges that we are facing now, people are paper-based, reactive, time-consuming, to be digital first, mobile, and optimized. At the end of the day, the goal is how we can improve the ecosystem or the employee journey towards increasing the employee engagement and retention. And uh, most organizations, we are only beginning to consider digital HR and work on a strategy. As with the digital transformation of business in general, digital HR transformation is considered by industry analysts to be the critical part of the digital transformation or business in general. And we have seen the digital HR uh, is part of the greater landscape of this digital uh, transformation. And I want to go back to my earlier pinpoint when I joined MBSB Bank. Uh, I give you an example, the recruitment uh, turnaround uh, time. Yeah. So when we, we talk so much about how I want to improve this particular process, uh, but how we can improve something that is different every time. Yeah? So before we improve the process, I give example. Uh, uh, personally, uh, I'm a data person because I keep reminding my team. Yeah, In God, I trust 
all of you please bring, bring data. So I asked for the information, what is our current average turn around time? At that point, we don't have any data with regards to our turn around time. Why? We don't have that like, the information because everything was done manually. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to stabilize the process because there I see more important for us to stabilize the process before we improve the process. Because why? One day we calculate the turnaround time of recruitment at 178 days and the next, uh, the next it was 78 days. It may even vary by, by months. There's so many variation in the process. Yes, I know we have targets. Uh, what will be the turnaround time? But if that process of recruitment, recruitment constantly changing, we are constantly fighting against different potential issues. Yeah? How do we improve if there's a new problem every single day? If it is not consistent, we would think it would make pretty much impossible to find what to work on at all. How could we identify the problem? How could we create a plan of corrective, uh, corrective action plan? That's the reason why the idea of stabilizing process ties into the idea of standard work. So if we don't have a standard work of policy, uh, procedures on, uh, and process on recruitment, how we can improve this? So if it is done differently every single time, how we can improve it at all? So that's the reason why consistent, uh, uh, consistency is key. So uh, what we have done at the time, we have two options. When I ask the team to digitalize the process, we have two options. Either we want to use an enterprise human capital uh, management system, or we just use a digital forms. These are the two options. I think I know, um, I don't want to refer, there are so many uh, enterprise HCM software uh, in the market. And we know there are several challenges because you need to come up with your requirements before you're able to implement it. And there, as HR professionals, we, uh, we realize that we don't have the time to do that. So uh, at that time, what the team has done is we use digital forms because the reality is the benefit of HR automation are very clear. Yeah. By automating HR processes, we able to save time, we able to save money whilst improving productivity and performance. However, with so many uh, enterprise human uh, capital management system options available in the market, it's hard to know where to begin. So, well, if I can make reference to Malaysia, there are two or three uh, famous uh, HCM, yeah? Yet, keep in mind that organization don't need to use enterprise HCM software. Some of the current even uh, free digital forms, online form, can complete many of the same function with ease. So before you jump into the bandwagon and invest a large amount of money to implement enterprise HCM software, the first thing that you need to ask yourself is what is your need? What are your pain points? What are the processes that you want to address? Can digital online form complete this? This is uh, from our experience, what we have done, rather than uh, rather than come up or engage or, and implement a new enterprise HCM, we evaluate what are the system that we already have. We realize that the current system address and solve the problem that we are facing in the past. So we're going to maintain that. And the current processes that we need to improve suffice to use a digital online form, yeah, which is available free or you can uh, subscribe uh, the cloud-based 
uh, digital form. And we can use this digital online form as a robust HR system to automate a range of HR processes. So since I joined, we have automated a lot of processes, not only talent acquisition, we address uh, training through uh, various uh, HR benefits uh, processes, also uh, which involve talent management and performance management. So in reality, not necessary, we embark on a large scale enterprise HCM software, we can always use online uh, digital forms to automate your current HR processes, no matter the size of your organization. MVSP Bank, we have only 2,200 employees, yet many HR tasks, for example, that require employees or candidate to fill up the HR form, we can use this digital online form whether we collect numerical data such as their ID numbers, their social security numbers, their provident fund numbers or qualitative data like answer to interview questions, the automated forms can make it easy to track, monitor and revisit information. I give you an example. I go back to the earlier example that I've used with regards to uh, talent acquisition. In the past, line manager used to uh, go to HR and say that why it take HR uh, take a, a very long time for human resource to come up with uh, uh, hiring decision. Then when we automate this particular process, we realize and we use the data to go back to the line managers. In reality, the backlog 30 to 40% of the backlog coming from the line managers themselves, where they took longer time to make decisions. So by automating the process, we able to know, we able to map the process, and we able to know, we able to identify what are the non-value added um, activities or what we call as NVA, and we able to identify what uh, where are the backlogs. And we can always go back to the line managers or the process owner. Uh, can you improve this particular process by automating the, this HR processes? Now we can always go back to our uh, internal customers and share with them where we can improve the process. Because why? Now, when you automate the HR processes, you're able to understand, you're able to map, you're able to address where are the pain points. So, we know that HR automation can be done uh, with forms, the digital form, and there are so many HR uh, tasks that can be done without a full enterprise HCM uh, system or software. Now, lesson that I've learned, uh, when you want to implement your digital HR, there are simply four steps. One is you need to adopt a digital uh, channel to reach and connect your employees, you need to digitize the time-consuming and inefficient or expensive paper-based processes. You need to establish an automation strategy that harness the full knowledge and power of your employees. And you need to optimize the organizational processes with data-driven insights. So these are the four simple steps that I've learned when we simply automate our HR processes. Now, in conclusion, I would like to um, wrap my session. We know that the digital transformation in HR, the human resource digital transformation, is changing how organizations operate internally. The days of manual paper-based HR processes are gone. And in their place are digital tools, strategies, and forward-looking HR professional like all of you. And in short, HR digital transformation is a process of adopting digital HR tools and strategy to improve employee experience, improve employee journey, and enhance our operational performance through data-driven and automated HR practices. 
with that, I would like to end my session. Thanks for your kind attention. Look forward to see all of you again. Thank you very much. Over to you, Nela Jana. Thanks. Great. Thank you. Thank you so much, Fareed. That was some really interesting happening at MBSB Bank already. And uh, I must say, you rightly mentioned that HR digital transformation is no longer an option. It's a mandate now. Yes. So, yeah, thank you. With that, uh, thank you so much once again, Fareed. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of the session. We will now take a short networking break. Do join us for our next session with Inchkate's CEO, Jasmine Wong, who will be talking about the future of remote working and how it looks like at her organization. See you on the other side.